Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make an animated starting soon screen for your Twitch using Pixlr plus DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into it. Alright, first, create a new project, 1920 by 1080 just like that. And we're going to try and do this quickly. So, just you can pretty much do any design you want. Or just use the one that I'm going to make right here. So just make two shapes just like that. Go up here to the lasso tool, right click it, select pixels, and then go to layer, rasterize the layer. So now that one's rasterized, and then click the gradient tool. Change the colors to whatever you want. I'm gonna be doing purple and pink. And then just do that. And now we can do the other one. So same thing. Right click, select pixels, layer, rasterize layer, and then you're gonna need to pick the colors again. Maybe make that a bit darker. Just like that. And then there you go. The first part's done. Alright, next go to this layer on the bottom right here, click the plus, add an empty layer, go back to the box tool, and then just make a square like that and then drag it so that it is below both of them just like that all right next go up to layer add images layer right here and then just grab whatever design you want to use i'm going to be using this topography one and then just size it to fit in the black area and you don't have to make it perfect but you can just drag it below like that and then it'll look clean and then if you want to add a little bit of design to it you can first go to adjustment hue and saturation colorize it and then make it like purple and then put it the saturation and then grab your uh pen tool or whatever paintbrush and then put the softness all the way up the size up as well and then grab a black just like that and then just start dotting around just like that and then next what you could do is go to your text tool and then write out your handle for whatever extra social media you want to put on so i do atk goshi on everything so i'm just gonna write my name out once and then pick a font i'll put all of my fonts in the description as well as the images that i use all right and then next go up to layer again and then put in your extra social media platforms or whatever you want yeah, so i'll just do twitter and youtube just like that Make them way smaller, not that big. All right, and now once you have them, try and zoom in a bit and get them lined up as much as possible, just like that. And now what you could do is right click and merge them down. So now they're one layer, go up to layer, rasterize, grab the lasso tool again, right click it, select the pixels on it, and then go over to your gradient, and then change the color once again, just like that, and then select and deselect, and right now you can see you can't really tell it's there so what you want to do is go up to filter and um, drop shadow just like that and then you can mess with it however you want I'm probably just gonna do that just like right there and then move your font and then go back to text styles shadow Alright next, go back to this shape tool and then put it on a line just like that. Change the color to black 
and then put it at the seven and then just make a straight line like that try and get it as straight as possible and then just put it over the edge of the design right there so now you can see there's like a slight black line over it and then just right click it and duplicate layer and drag it up to the top just like that all right and now you're good to go and now you can add more design if you want i'm gonna leave it like this just to keep it simple but now let's head over to davinci resolve to do the animated text all right now that you're in davinci resolve and you've created a new project what you want to do first is you see this media pool right here just open up your files mine opened up on the other screen but i'm just going to drag it in like that all you need to do is just open up your files and drag it in and then go over to titles grab text just like that and then put it down onto the timeline and then grab your starting soon and then put that on the timeline as well and then you can just put your text above like that and now that you have your text right here just drag it highlight it first and then you can drag it down into this open area and then change it to whatever you want I'll do stream starting soon all right so now that you have this you can choose to hire the size if you want just like that oops okay I didn't need to do that just press control hold down control and press Z if you want to fix any mistakes and now I think about that size looks good and now you can change the font family to whatever you want all right I ended up going with this font right here so now you can change the color I'm gonna change it to black to match the rest and now to animate it so right click it just like that in the editor make sure you're over in the editor one right click it create new compound clip just like that and now you can you'll see up here in the effects library just scroll all the way down once you're in open fx to the bottom and you can either do waviness which will do exactly that it'll just make the text wavy or you could do camera shake which i think looks a lot nicer so then just hold it and drag it on like that and now you see you'll play it and it bounces around like that and you could either leave it that fast or you can go over here to effects in the inspector and then turn down the speed scale just like that i'm gonna do like 0.3 and now you can see it bounces a lot slower so i'm gonna leave it like this and you can choose to add any music you want as well i'm not gonna add any music to it but now go over to deliver and all i need to do is add it to the render queue and then you can just yeah it doesn't matter what you name it and then just render it and there you have got your animated starting screen and you could just loop it over again once you put it into obs or if you don't want to do that you could just make it much longer like a minute long and then just make it loop every minute instead of every like what is this five seconds four seconds and then here you go now your starting scene screen is in obs and it looks nicer than just having a still image on your screen so thank you all for watching and peace out